Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Parker, and today we're going to visit my friends at Georgia Tech to learn about what they do. And then we're going to perform an experiment that you can try at home. Today, we're going to be talking and thinking especially about how paper airplanes fly. And to help explain this, we're going to visit our friend Sam before we try the experiment on our own. Well, what are we waiting on? Let's go! Georgia Tech is a college. That's a special kind of school where big kids go to learn, just like you. But in this school, you choose one special subject to learn about. At Georgia Tech, that is usually science and technology. Here, people learn all sorts of new and exciting things like why airplanes fly, what makes sick people feel better, and how to build all sorts of things. These people are called scientists because they follow a set of rules and test how stuff works through experimentation. Many people who finish or graduate from this school go on to be scientists and engineers. Those are people who draw and build plans for planes, trains, and all sorts of things, even things that make you feel better when you're sick. This is Sam. He's an aerospace engineer, which means he knows how to draw and build stuff. The kind of stuff he can draw and build is airplanes. He's been studying this for four years. Hey guys, I'm Sam. Uh, I'm an aerospace engineer at Georgia Tech. I've been here for four years and I'm going to be graduating next year. Aerospace engineering is kind of a combined field of study. It's uh, a co combination of airplanes and also rockets. You get to study different vehicles um, and you get to learn the physics and the mechanics of those vehicles. I wanted to be an aerospace engineer um, ever since I was a little kid. I always loved flying in planes and I loved building little model rockets and little model airplanes. So naturally, um, when I came to college, I wanted to be studying aerospace engineering, and Georgia Tech has a great program for that, so that's why I'm here. Probably my favorite part about aerospace engineering is uh, just learning how um, airplanes work and how they fly. Um, the combination of multiple different parts, the wings and the control surfaces, and also the jet engine, which provides the thrust. Um, just seeing how all, all those things come together and how it allows you to um, how, how it allows airplanes to fly and how it allows you to get to where you want. I'll give a little explanation here. I have a little paper airplane and I'll try and explain how um, a, sim a simple airplane like this would fly. Um, the first step is that it's, uh, if you look straight on at the plane, it's a very aerodynamic structure. Um, there's not a lot of resistance when you throw it, so it can easily pierce through the air. So when you give it a little throw and you throw it upwards, the air from underneath pushes the wings up, pushes the wings up, which allows it to fly. Thanks, Sam. Best of luck. Now that we know how airplanes fly, let's head back to CMA and see how you can become the next great engineer with an experiment of your own. Welcome back. Here's one way you can start learning about aerospace engineering. Today, we're going to be learning about flight and paper airplanes. All you will need is scissors, paper, straw, and tape. Cut two strips of paper, one one inch by ten inches, and the other one inch by five inches, and then tape them into a circle. Now, take a plastic straw and tape the paper circles to both ends of the straw. Now remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. Now that we're done, it's time for the fun part. Let's go see how it flies. Now that we have our airplane made, we're in our spot. It's time to begin the experiment.
If you want to be a true scientist and make this a true experiment, go ahead and put together another airplane, but this time cut a little bit off of the straw, and then make a guess as to which airplane will fly farther, and then test it out. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but thank you so much to our friends at Georgia Tech and thank you Sam for helping teach us about flight. I hope you had a good time learning about flight. I know I did. And in the meantime, keep on learning future engineers and scientists and we'll see you later. If you enjoyed this experiment, come visit us at the Children's Museum of Atlanta to try all our hands-on experiments and keep the fun going. Check out our website link in the description below for more information.